hospital. So I think it's a really positive thing that the hospitals in New York are all lining up to say, you know what, we're going to be prepared to help moms nurse if they want to. And we're going to make it a little more difficult. You know, we're not going to let the formula companies come in and just distribute at will in the hospital. You know, Meredith made, uh, in the last hour, made an important point that I think is going to resonate with a lot of mums at home that, you know, you've just given birth, it's stressful enough, and in some cases, mothers can't um, get their babies to latch on. To have getting formula such a convoluted process now, where it has to be almost medically signed out, it's kind of like putting shame, shame on the new mums. I mean, what do you say to that? I really hope that that's not the case, and I can see where that would be troubling to a lot of mothers. And, you know, I guess that we're going to have to see how this plays out and trust that nurses are not in the business of shaming. I understand that nursing is really hard. I formula fed two kids of my own. Um, I, I never want moms to be shamed. So I don't think that that's the intention behind this. And I think that, you know, from what I'm reading, all women have to do is ask for formula and it's going to be given to them. I mean, you have to sign out. A nurse has to sign off to get an aspirin in the hospital. So this isn't like, you know, it's not like it's being kept under lock and key. It's just, you know, more of a tracking situation so that it's not just flowing like wine in the maternity ward. Because right now, you know, you can get formula brought to your room without even asking for it. I mean, but to be to be to your point about it, you know, it, you know, like aspirins, you have to track aspirins. I mean, you take too much aspirin and, you know, it could have an adverse effect. I mean, it's it's baby formula is the point other people have made. It's not a narcotic. Uh, do you worry though that this is like the the beginning of a slippery slope and it's encroaching on women's right to choose how to to take care of their babies, how to feed their babies? Does that concern you? Yeah, I think that that's a valid concern, you know, and I think that we're all going to be watching this situation to see how it plays out. I mean, I, I hope that there's a happy medium here between formula shaming and infringing on people's rights versus encouraging breastfeeding. Um, you know, that's my hope. I would never want moms to feel like they don't have the right to choose. I think every woman should have the right to choose. Um, I, and I hope and think that this initiative is really about encouraging moms to breastfeed and supporting them in that and making sure that hospitals aren't taking the easy out by handing out formula because it's it's easier for nurses to hand formula than to sit and coach a mom to breastfeed and I hope that changes.